Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 41 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Um, okay, so I was on my way back to the Gerudo's, or Pirate's Fortress, I keep saying Gerudo's, but it's really pirates, to get the last egg, and, um, I thought I might as well show off this little shortcut. If you come to this spot where the Goron switch was, there's a hookshot target, and you can just grab hold of that, pull your way over, and bam, you're instant leader, you don't have to go past, well, you can pretty much just bypass all those mines, and whatever. So that's a neat little shortcut. And also one more thing that I forgot to do when I was here last is you want to take out your Picto Box. Yes, your Picto Box. I know. And you want to get a picture of a Gerudo. With the Stone Mask, this is really easy because they just like stand there and don't do anything. Okay, well, apparently not for long enough. Okay, and... Is that good? And I'm gonna try and get a full body one. Come on. Is that good? Yeah, that should be good. Okay, yes. Alright now. So now that we have that done, I'm just gonna go ahead and warp straight to the room that has the egg in it. So I'll be right back. Alright, now we're back in the room with this godforsaken egg. And we can finally get it. Here we go. So just pull yourself up. Basically, this formula is the exact same for all these. Except that one had the giant skullfish inside of it instead of the shell blade. Wow, I'm actually starting to call these enemies by their real names. Go figure. These are like the more obscure enemies that you're not supposed to know the names of. Okay, just get a bottle out. Hurry up. And grab it. Did I get it? Well, obviously. If I'm standing in the tank and use the bottle anywhere, apparently, you just get it. Okay. So now that that is finally over with, let's just warp out of here. I'm pretty sure you can't warp from inside a building, so I'm just going to have to wander on outside and gra get the ocarina out, obviously. So, yeah. And warp. Alright. Now that we've done that, um, well, I guess I'll just go deposit the last egg and what the hell, I'll vlog a little bit. Well, no, nope, not Zor Cape. Well, I was, while I'm doing this. Ah, uh, so, I didn't really do much of anything today. You know. Today is Sunday, well, te technically, well, yeah. It's been Saturday for me, but it's like 12.33 a.m. right now, so it's Sunday, technically. And, um, I didn't really do too much today. I kind of just lazed and play video games. I'm like addicted to Super Mario Galaxy 2, I swear to god. Like even after just playing it in my stream and I thought I would be tired of it, like that Mario Christmas stream, I thought I would be tired of it past then. But no, I just I've played it like twice since then. I'm trying to get like a no death run is the idea. I haven't achieved it yet. I've gotten close, but no cigar. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I did today. Well, actually, that's not true. I also went and saw the movie The Fighter with my dad. And that is one pretty awesome movie, I have to say. Like, normally I'm not into those kinds of movies that are, like, human interest or whatever you want to call it. But that one, for some reason, is just pretty awesome. Maybe because they use the word fuck so much in it, and I just like that. Uh, but no, it's actually a pretty amazing story. and Obviously, it's based on a true story, so... Yeah, I kind of like it. Actually, I really like it. And that's really all I did today. Don't have much else planned. I don't know why I'm recording Majora's Mask of all things. Probably just because I'm uh, because I'm in the mood to record Majora's Mask. Because I should be recording either Challenge Sunday or freaking Mario RPG right now. Because those are the ones that are of the utmost importance. But I feel like doing this. Okay, I know this guy wants a picture. I could swear that he wants a picture. You want this, don't you? No? Okay, I want to speak to your seahorse. Please take me back to the water near Pinnacle Rock. Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish, isn't it? It's called a seahorse. No, no, duh. I, ca I caught it swimming around here, just off Pinnacle Rock. You mean Pinnacle Studio? No, that's my editing software, never mind. If you want it, I'll give it to you. On one condition. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? Yep, that's what I thought. Here you go, buddy. Uh, oh, that's it. That's it. I had a picture like that. 
Well, aren't you a crafty one? You'll give that, that to me, won't you? Sure. I don't have any use for it. And you shouldn't either, but apparently do. Okay, we get a seahorse. Yeah, what the hell? Hurry and take me back to the waters near Pinnacle Rock. Okay. Let's do it. And I believe that Pinnacle Rock is that one place that we went a few episodes ago, but that we got confused into thinking that's the way to the like, uh, Zora's Fortress. Wait, Zora's Fortress now? First it was Gerudo's Fortress, and then Zora's Fortress? What? Oh my goodness. I am just not good with that with the name of that place, apparently. Okay. Are you serious? It's almost the night of the second day. I'm not gonna be able to get the Great Bay Temple in the cycle, along with everything else that I want. Oh, there it is, night of the second day. Halfway done. And you just gotta swim out between these two rocks. Very important that you go actually between them. And you get teleported out to Pinnacle Rock. Quite a beautiful thing, if I do see some. Let's just take a moment to smell the roses here. Look at that sunset and those nice rocks. It's like perfect sym symmetry there. What the hell? Okay. Well, apparently that's not the right thing to do. What the hell? What? I'm confused. Wait, do I release this seahorse? Is that it? Are you gonna help me? Um, I can't use the seahorse, so apparently that's not it. Okay, what the hell? This is... This is ass. Um, okay, let's dive. Then can I use the seahorse down here? Okay, there we go. That's what I thought. And you're free, my friend. Free to guide me to out there, because that's important. You have strange powers, Aragon. I have a request for you. Please follow me. Sure enough. And just kind of like the Poe in the, uh... Oh, God. Hurry up. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, that's not right. Let's go back down here. And please follow me closely without making any missteps. No problem. Okay, so basically I guess he's just going to go from sign to sign here. Yeah, so this is pretty much just like the Poe in uh, Ocarina of Time, I guess. No huge deal. Just basically follow the golden shimmering light and you will make it, I suppose. Uh, not much farther, I hope. This is really more tedious than it needs to be. Uh, now would have been a great time to vlog, but I already just kind of spilled my heart out to you guys. Well, not really. Just I just told you what I did today. Hey, that's a nice light on top of his head. That's cool. It's not Christmas, but it's still cool. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped here. Argon, can you find a way to rid the area of all sea snakes and help my friend? Show sure enough. Show sure enough, Hoss. All right, let's go get rid of these sea snakes that are raging. Okay, so... Uh, whoa, what the... What the balls? I was not expecting that at all. I'm serious. I wasn't. Okay. Okay, so you want to hit him... Hit it like that. And hit it again. So basically, two hits of your electricity will take out anything. And this is, as you can see another Zora egg, so I guess this is where the remaining three or so are hidden. And, uh, yeah. This isn't just for the Zora eggs, by the way. There is actually something else that you get from this area. I'm pretty sure it's no big spoiler that I say it's a piece of heart, but maybe it is, so I won't say it. Okay. So now I'll just take care of this guy. Bam! And... Oh, come on. I should have had that. There he is. There he is. Wow. Okay. Tell me that these jars contain some magic or something. Because I'm... I'm going to run out of magic before I can kill all the sea snakes. Okay, thanks. That's a little bit anyways. Nothing major, but still cool. All right, but yeah, basically there's like three levels here. Like three different uh, levels of holes. With like two holes on each level, I think. I think that's how it works. And I just... I just like clear all of them in some random obtuse order. Not really random and obtuse, it's like just layer by layer, but 
I don't know. I just like using big word like obtuse. Any mono ultra microscopic silico volcano coniosis. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. Okay. Could you swim faster, please, Link? I know, like, you're a Zora, and swimming fast is your specialty, but even for a Zora, it's kind of slow. I'm just sorry. I guess it's kind of because there's a lot of water to traverse, too. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I don't want hearts. Come on. I need some magic. Well, not really. I suppose I can make it. There's only, like, two eels left to kill, anyways. Two or three, maybe. Or maybe, like, one at the very bottom. Okay. One in here? Holy crap. These eels are nearly as scary as... What the hell? I don't know what just happened there, but... Yeah, these ones aren't nearly as scary as the ones in... As the one in, uh... Mario 64. That one just is, like... Creepy. If not for just, like, the graphics alone that make it creepy. Alright, nothing here. Just head on out. There probably is something in all of those holes that, like... I'm not noticing. Okay, are there like four layers here? Because I just saw two more holes down there. If there are four layers, then I just gave you some faulty information right there. And I apologize for that. Alright, what's in here? There's a chest I see. Rupees, probably? Hmm. I would comment on the music in this area, but I can't tell if there is music. Because the stupid furnace is so loud. Which is the bad thing about recording in the basement. The good thing is that I get my privacy. My privacy. Alright, so one last layer, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, you better just... Oh, I'm... am I going to have enough magic? Oh my goodness. I might not have enough magic here. I'm serious. Look at that. It's like the littlest amount of magic possible. Okay, no, dive. Thank you. And more rupees, presumably. Yep. Ah, oh, so many rupees, so little wallet space. Uh, I'm sure there's got to be magic somewhere around here, right? Yeah, there's got to be something, something in one of these pots. I mean, really. If there's not, I'm going to scream. I really am. Okay, there we go. I don't have to scream, thank goodness, because it's like 12.45 a.m. and I don't want to scream. And he's dead. And Oh, there's the seahorse. Looks like we killed all of them then. Because I'm pretty sure that guy only appears when you kill all of them. <gasps> oh, They're so happy together. Well, let's go talk to them. Hey, buddy. Thank you, Argon. This is a symbol of my deepest gratitude. A heart piece. Yep, told you, didn't I? Oh, look at them back there. They're like kissing. They're making a heart shape, kind of, strangely. That's just it's cute. That's so cute. It's so cute, I'm going to take a picture of it. I really am. Okay, oh no, I can't, because I can't use this stupid Picto box underwater. Ah. Damn these infernal, infernal non-underwater Picto boxes. Whatever, you know what I mean. Hopefully. Because if you don't, I'm going to sound really stupid. Right, so, now let's go past the massive towers of seaweed, and we'll head back on out to return these final three eggs to where they belong. And once we've done that, we'll see we ha where that takes us. Okay. And just get me out of here. Thank you. Oh, no more beautiful sunset on the Pinnacle Rock. Oh, well. Uh, 14 minutes? Well, I, I suppose I can just return these three eggs to the Marine Research Lab or whatever it's called the big place with a fish tank that you can warp to, but I couldn't warp to because I can't play an instrument underwater, or, or else maybe you can, I don't know, because I'm a Zora, maybe you can play an instrument underwater. <gasps> that was a mouthful. Okay, oh, I wanted to, like, jump up on top of there from the water. I wanted to get some style points. Too late. And... This building looks a lot smaller on the outside, gotta tell you. As do most buildings in pretty much any game that you play. Alright, no, stupid. Okay, this item doesn't seem to work here. Does it work if I'm normal link? No? Okay. Well, now it works over here. Okay. That makes perfect sense. These eggs shouldn't even fit between those bars, but... 
you know what? Just, just whatever. Just pass it off as a video game logic of some kind. Of some sort. Mm-hmm. I just still have, like, a bit of stuff to do before I actually take on the last temple. Well, not the last temple, the Great Bay Temple, I mean. Like, I have some heart pieces and stuff I can get. I have, like, a bottle or two that I could get. I only want to get one of them right now, but I could get two. And, good! All of the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. Showing off. Wait, I think I need my ocarina for this. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um... Looks like we're just going to pause this here, and I'm going to have to show this off in the next episode, because we're kind of out of time here. Well, out of time according to my standards, because I don't like to go much past 15, 16 minutes. So, thank you everyone, everyone for accompanying me on my journey to reunite the seahorses and recover all of the Zora eggs. And now that we've done that, we're going to see what reward we get for that. So, without further ado... Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.